Chief X at you with this common sense science. So, people just gonna refuse to be real and honest and admit they're wrong. People just refuse to say Chief X been right all the time and we owe this brother an apology. He tried to warn us. He always say he's two, three years ahead of people. Now, I don't know if I'm ahead of people or just that much more honest than people. But I've been told you, Asar Imhotep's, his teaching, you guys, pseudo-linguistics. I said he has class and miseducated black folk on purpose. I've been saying this. Now, all of a sudden, the pseudo killers and, and Ankh and the Amin, and not the Amin Ra squad per se, but Ankh mainly out of the Amin Ra squad and the pseudo killers and everybody see Asar has been teaching pseudo linguistics. Two years ago, me and Ankh were good. Me and Ankh chopped it up, had lunch together in Atlanta. Me and Ankh were good. The day I, hold on one second, let me show you. Me and the Amon Ross squad, entire Amon squad, were good and cool. I bought this book from Asar, supported him. Uh... He took a, I took a picture with the book and he posted me in the picture in the book. He was showing everybody who bought a book. We're all good. I bought this book. Two and years and some months ago. So one day I said, I'm going to start reading this book. But I thought to myself, this book is a little over my head. It's a project I had to delve into. And I wasn't interested. And I'm not saying this book is about linguistics, but it's linguistic talk in there, right? Now, I'm in Ross Squad had a live stream and went live one day around the time when I was about to begin to read this. And I thought to myself before I said, you know what? You can't jump from basic math to calculus <laughs> with no steps in between. If you try to jump from basic math to calculus and just start reading some calculus book, you're going to be confused. I'm not going to be able to tell since I don't even have a basic understanding. I wouldn't be able to tell if the information in here is wrong or right. Meaning, once I delve into it, thinking it may be right, and I begin to read and learn something, bam, I'm brainwashed. Because I have nothing to judge it off of. I skip basic math and jump to collect calculus. So I said, I don't want to get brainwashed. And I'm wondering to myself, why isn't the world of academia agreeing or peer reviewing or why they don't have others in the world of linguistics, like other scholar, linguistic scholars on your panels and talking to the SAR about this and they going over this and Greenberg and all. Why, why is it just a SAR and about three other French people? I said to myself. So I said, I'm not going to start reading this until I ask Asar a question. Elm and Ross Squad just happened to go live. They've been talking about linguistic for several years before I got this book or even questioned it. I didn't give a fuck. I would watch the Amin Ross Squad and Team Osiris and Ned or Neb go back and forth. And I was supporting the Amin Ross Squad unknowingly. But... After not even engaging or asking or anything about any kind of linguistic topics, no matter, no matter, 
I said, it's my turn just to ask a simple question on the Amin Ra Squad live team. So I said, Asar, why? I, I, no, I, I think I started asking him, do you have any white or Asian or Arab or any other friends of any other race who you vibe with and talk about linguistics with and discuss this and they agree with you and maybe some others that have peer reviewed outside of your little Afrocentric clique, I was asked basically in general. Asar snapped. See, when Chief X get the question and shit, people get nervous. Asar got real nervous and began to talk over me and didn't want me to get my questions out. And we had a little argument on a live stream. And then Ankh jumped in, and me and Ankh were cool. Then Ankh jumped in and started sweating me for asking him a basic question that 20 other people asked him before me with no problem. Ankh began to protect Osar, and they all start getting at me. And I'm stunned at this point. Why is these people so aggressive at me just because I ask a simple question of why isn't this peer reviewed or is this, you know, a lot of your information in any kind of journals with other linguistics? And they snapped on me and went and Ankh went off on me, protecting Asar. He didn't know if Asar's linguistics was pseudo. I had a hunch. Nobody else had a hunch. Because I'm wiser than these people. I have better intuition than these people. I've been around longer than people. I can read people better than you niggas. And I said, oh, they sounded guilty. And after that, I was pissed because they went off on me and I cussed me out for no reason. And I'm supposed to be his buddy. I was a little hurt by that shit. <laughs> Two and what, two years and three months ago or something like that? I don't know. Maybe two and a half years ago. I was a little bothered. I said, right then, I said, something's wrong. And I looked into it. Come to find out, he is pushing pseudo-linguistics. And I don't know why Wu Jiao right now won't admit, and Asar won't admit, that that Negro Egyptian upload to Wikipedia that was shut down by the Wikipedia scholars and people in linguistic scholarly shut it down and said it was crazy bullshit. And Azar, Azar is that guy, uh, um, Daniel, power of God, who uploaded it. That's Azar because he used to be a Hebrew Israelite. So Daniel, power of God, is Azar. Wujaro knows that that Negro Egyptian upload on Wikipedia was done by Asar Mhotep. And nobody wants to admit that. They act like some ghost tried to upload it. Asar Mhotep signature is written all over it. So I exposed him and broke it down for a whole hour. How they shot his bullshit down and called him a fucking wacko, basically. And to get that bullshit out of there. And I exposed Asar. From then on, they were pissed. Then Ankh and the Amin Ra squad influenced others who I was very cool with against me. And this two year bash Xavier for telling the truth campaign went on and it continues today. So at a point I said, fuck them all. Then later on, I went in on ancient Egypt and made a presentation said they're not black. But this is what started it all. Now today, these niggas have had the last two streams going at Asar, and all of them agree he is a pseudo-linguist. And you niggas don't have the uh, don't have the balls. The honesty, the integrity, and the righteousness to say, you know what? Chief X been exposed this two years ago. We're late. We're only talking about it now because Chief X influenced us to talk about it.
Just like Chief X influenced you guys to talk about non-black Egypt. Just like Chief X influenced you guys to have the many conversations about indigenous African slavery. I've been steps ahead of you guys since years ago. I'm the original pseudo hunter. This is simply the fucking truth. Now, I see all y'all in the chat now, side eye and a sar. All y'all in the chat, that video got 2,000 views on it. Let me see. All you niggas seen it. But you refuse to just fucking admit Chief X been right. Let me see if I, you can see it on here. Right there. Asar Imhotep exposed. Two years ago. Chief X. I exposed him two years ago and told you. I was trying to help you ignorant niggas. I was trying to enlighten you guys. And raise your consciousness. Because I'm the, I've been the number one pseudo killer. Not pseudo killer. We were saying pseudo hunters at this time. We pseudo hunting. So then I began to say, and everyone remember this two years ago. I said, Ankh and a lot of these cats are only 80% pseudo hunters, I would say. Y'all remember? I say I'm a hundred percent pseudo hunter. I don't leave no stones unturned. So I was like, you can't have a group called the pseudo killers and or calling yourself pseudo hunters and and you got two pseudo motherfuckers hardcore pseudo motherfuckers in your camp that don't look right so the fight was on to cover for the honor of the Amon Ra squad the Amon Ra squad touted that they were pseudo hunters extreme and didn't have a clue that two of your members were pseudo and intentionally miseducating the people. Wu Zhao and Asar Imhotep intentionally miseducated you guys. What it is, is you have the Afrocentric movement and everybody in the Afrocentric movement have their lanes. They got it sewed up. They they you know, they, they got the puzzle together and sewed up. Now, a SARS linguistic is an Afrocentric form of linguistics. That's why he has Negro, he called it Negro Egyptian. He changed it because he was getting his ass tore up regarding that title. Sinayu, he calls it now Sinayu, or whatever the fuck the name is. But he was calling it, labeling it Negro Egyptian. So who's a Negro? Us and you listening to me. And who are the ancient Egyptians? So he tried to blend it and make it seem like the language family of us West Central Africans are related to the Egyptian language. Therefore, we are those people. Asar will tell you, and he's been telling you, the ancient Egyptians was black. So he had an Afrocentric form of linguistics. It was pseudo-linguistics. And he teaches false cognates. Related words by chance and coincidence and shit. Acting like he can pronounce some ancient language and as he's pronouncing it, he states these words and put these in combos together and it's all fucked up and pseudo shit. But he was teaching you niggas and you fell for it. I tried to tell you, any Herod, Sean. I tried to tell you, dumbass niggas, that you're getting brainwashed. You wasted years learning that dumb shit. <laughs> you stupid motherfucker, Sean, any Herod.
Y'all did an evil. When you intentionally, you see, see, you guys are just, oh, it's just so, oh, he, when you intentionally and purposefully miseducate black people for financial gain, you're a devil. Plain and simple. They said the devil will sometimes come appearing to be the angel of light. That's a sar. Just appearing to be, oh, so soft-smoking and, and professional. and You can't tell. He's coming to you appearing to be the angel of light. But he's wicked. He's miseducating for financial gain. But hell, y'all don't respect reality anyway. So I don't, I don't even know why I made this video. <laughs> Today, I just got off this motherfucking tablet. Started listening to y'all stream after you finished. Um, Real Black Atheist, Ankh, and all the pseudo killers on there. And I heard y'all going in on the SAR. It is okay to say, you know what? Chief X Ben told us this shit. Chief X jumped this discussion off. And the reason why we are talking about it, because we were influenced and it was on our mind, because Chief X been telling us for two whole fucking years. And now, not only should you guys be apologizing to me, you guys are so disrespectful, you won't even say Chief X was right, let alone apologize. You won't even say Chief X opened the door so we can fucking see. You just don't want to give old Chief X that credit. But I know all you know, and when you're talking about a SAR, Chief X is on all your minds. But you just can't say his name. <laughs> so, you guys have to learn. You know what? Think. Am I fake? Am I not my, you know, am I just not being real? Why are we just fronting on Chief X like he's just crazy and he was tripping? When in reality, he's pretty much right about everything. All of his claims is right. He was right about indigenous slavery in Africa. He was right about a SAR pseudo-linguistics. And he's right about the Egyptians not being black. That survey I did, are the ancient Egyptians black or non-black? Got 400 votes. 68% said non-black. A year ago, that would have been about 90% said they were black. Now, 68% say the Egypt of the Afro the not Afrocentrics but the so called conscious community people who follow my channel and y'all channels and stuff 68% according to the poll I did of 400 votes said the ancient Egyptians ain't black and they're saying that because Chief X taught them that they weren't so all y'all friends now agree with Chief X although they won't say it they don't want Chief X to get that kind of shine and recognition. <laughs> but we all know what's up. Yeah. So, there was no way a year ago that 68% of the people that listened to us in our circle would say the Egyptians was not black. Chief X influenced that 68%. It would have been 90% saying that they were black. If it wasn't for me putting down that five-hour presentation on Black Egypt debunked. Everybody thought the Moors were black until Chief X came to the conscious community and corrected that bullshit. Now you know that they're Arab and Berber because of Chief X. I've debunked the entire conscious community. Let's just keep that fucking real. I didn't say I know more than people. I don't know these subjects in ancient Egypt more than 
a lot of these cats. It's my wisdom in me being a generalist and a realist that wins. I've always said a wise man will beat the brakes off of a scholar. And that's exactly what the fuck is happening. Asar's linguistics is pseudo and they've been pseudo. And you guys need to keep stepping to them niggas. Y'all my students. And y'all won't allow me to be on a panel. I can't even comment on the pseudo killers. Uh, uh, nobody will see my comment. I'm blocked. CK keeps blocking me. <laughs> so y'all my students. Carry on. My legacy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let the world know, hey, we're not going for it no more. It's a new motherfucking day in 2022. And y'all bringing y'all black asses back to West Central Africa. You guys gonna get your ass up out of Egypt. Unless you just want to... There's no, nothing wrong with studying it for fun. But everybody needs to admit they were non-black. Asar Sudo. Chief X was right. Now, you don't have to say, at least say, hey, Chief X put us on to Asar being pseudo. At least say that. You don't even have to say I'm right. <laughs> you don't even have to apologize. But at least you guys can sit up there like grown men and tell the truth and fucking be real in your conversation. Fuck what I'm talking about. Say my motherfucking name. You're holding back so hard from saying my name. Everybody is. Say, Chief X two years ago said Asar is pseudo, and we're just now catching on to it. Chief X is wiser than us. He's always been two years ahead of us on cleaning shit up. He's the original pseudo hunter and was 100% with it. He wanted to clean up the ranks of all pseudo bullshit, but a lot of cats wanted to hold on to a little pseudoness. Chief X said, fuck that. He's not leaving no stone unturned. We dropping a hammer on all these motherfucking rocks <laughs> and turn them into pebbles, then into sand. Corey. Concrete quarry, uh, 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 Sheffrin, let these niggas know that I jumped off that Asar being pseudo in the videos on my timeline. And Negro Egyptian upload on Wikipedia was done by Asar. Wujaro, when you gonna admit that and stop protecting this nigga? Didn't nobody... The mother cats ain't put upload a sar, Daniel, power of God, the former Hebrew Israelite, a sar, uploaded Negro Egyptian and they shut it down for being lunatic fringe. Those are the words they use. You know, usually they'll be like, uh uh, no, no. But they just went to overboard and said, this shit is straight wacko. How did this even get in this fucking system? For us, to, for us to have to shut it back down. <laughs> they was wondering. They had to call on the big dogs to check out this shit. And they was like, delete this motherfucking bullshit. They deleted your shit, Asar Imhotep. Because it was pseudo. And then I had to show, because I joined some linguistic group. Some, not no black, just regular white folk and just regular folk. Linguistic groups. And I seen Asar was in these groups. And I've seen Asar's post in these groups. All you got to do is put his name in the search bar and whatever he posts in that group pops up. <laughs> and the language scientists who run the group told Asar, we have a pseudo-linguistic group. You can post that over there. But right, but this is pseudo-linguistics, Asar. This was it. And I showed you guys they were saying that. <laughs> you guys still didn't care. You didn't care what the language scientists were saying. You didn't care what the experts were saying. They was telling you Asar shit was pseudo. They told Asar to join the pseudo-linguistic groups. I showed you they did that. 
and you guys simply did not care. And today, you're exposing the SAR, like I told you two years ago. Bend the knee, repent, say my motherfucking name. Fuck them niggas if they don't like it. Say my motherfucking name and let them know what time it is. And give me my motherfucking flowers. <laughs> I'm out.